Hello everyone. In this video, I'm restarting my arrow garden. I'm restarting it to grow an herb garden. I previously grew heirloom cherry tomatoes in the arrow garden, and now it's ready for a new garden. Before starting a new garden, you have to clean and sanitize the arrow garden to make sure the new garden will have a healthy start. The previous planting may have left pathogens inside the bowl and other hard to reach and clean parts. So how do we sanitize the arrow garden to make sure it's ready to grow a new garden? It's pretty easy to do. The guide that comes with the seeds explains how to restart your arrow garden. Restarting a garden means exactly that. You have already used the garden for other plants. They've been harvested and removed and now you're ready to grow again. The first step to restarting an arrow garden is to sanitize it. Various pathogens and bacteria may exist on the inside of the bowl and all the surfaces of the unit, which could be detrimental to future plantings. The instructions say to fill the bowl from the air garden with water and then to add a quarter cup of chlorine bleach to it. You can also add five cups of distilled white vinegar to the water instead. So I filled the bowl up to just below the max line, measured out a quarter cup of bleach, and poured it in. Then I plugged in the arrow garden, put the lid on, and also covered the holes with the caps it came with. And then I let it run for five minutes. So now this has been running for five minutes, and you can see the pump working to circulate the chlorinated water. Now I unplug it, and then dump out the bowl of chlorinated water, and now fill up the bowl with fresh tap water and run it again for five minutes. This is like a rinse cycle to rinse out the chlorinated water. After five minutes, dump out the water and you're ready to restart your garden. I'm planting a new herb garden, so I need to reset the arrow garden. There should be a button on your arrow garden to do this. On mine, it's right here. You hold this button for two seconds to tell the machine that we're restarting. Then every two weeks, it will remind you to put in fresh nutrients. On my model, I also have to set the lights to go on and off. So when I want it to go on, then I press and hold for two seconds and it will turn on the lights starting at that time. So you want to do that early in the morning, the first time you set this. You can see here for herbs, the timer is set to keep the lights on for 17 hours and off for seven. Okay, I got up early today and I'm ready to start the new garden. First, I press the yellow select button in the center to select the type of garden I'm starting. I'm planting an herb garden, so I press until the herbs light lights up. Then I press the reset garden button, holding for two seconds. Next, I set the light to turn on at 7 a.m. for 17 hours. The next step is to fill the bowl with fresh water, if you haven't already done that, and then to add nutrients to the water. The kit comes with Aero Garden liquid plant food. According to the Aero Garden instructions, you need to add two capfuls of the plant food at startup, and then again every two weeks. I had already used up the food the planting kit came with on my last grow, and it is a bit pricey at $10 for three ounces, so I use the same hydroponic nutrients I use for my other hydroponic herb plants, the Grow Big Hydroponic Formula from Fox Farms. This is also $10, but for a pint rather than three ounces, and it works the same way. Just make sure if you buy the Grow Big to buy the hydroponic formula, not the one for plants growing in soil. This one is made specifically for hydroponically grown plants. Shake the bottle well and then pour two teaspoons into a gallon of water and then shake that. It's that easy. Now I'm ready to plant my new garden. I'm planting the gourmet herb garden that originally came with the arrow garden. This box is over a year old so I hope the seeds will still germinate. If not, I'll put my own seeds in the pods. The kit comes with six pods, two types of basil, thyme, dill, mint, and curly parsley. It's really easy to plant these. The seeds are already in the pods, ready to pop into the holes. Now a bit of advice on planting these, it is best to plant the taller plants in the back and the shorter plants in the front. They look better that way when growing, and the shorter plants get more light and better airflow if they are in front. The pods all have labels identifying the plant, how many days it takes to sprout, and also whether the plant is a tall, medium, or short plant. Here you can see the Genovese basil is tall, so it's going into the back. 
The curly parsley and thyme are short plants, so they should be placed in the front. After you're satisfied with how you place the plants, then you need to put the little plastic domes over the pods. These will keep the humidity and moisture high so the seeds have a good chance of germinating. You can remove the plastic domes once the plants sprout and reach the top of the domes. These domes came with the herb kit and some of them snapped right onto the pods and some of them didn't. No matter how much I twisted or turned, I couldn't get them to stay on. You can take some clear tape and tape it down. I've done that in the past, but it's a little frustrating that they don't all fit nicely. Make sure to push down the light to the lowest level and then push it up as the plants grow. These black plastic caps are to cover any unused holes, but I used up all the holes, so back in the box they go. Now it's 10 days later and so far just the basil has sprouted. The others are taking longer to sprout. They may never sprout since the seed kit is over a year old. We shall see. That's it. That's all there is to restarting the arrow garden. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below if you have any suggestions or experiences you'd like to share. And thank you for watching. Bye.